What's up guys, Matt the Riffmas here. Today we're going to be discussing what guitar pick you should be using. So guys, yes, as we know, there are loads of different types of guitar picks out there, different shapes, different thicknesses, and sometimes it's difficult to know which one you should be using. So this is just from my personal experience um, throughout trying loads of different thicknesses of guitar picks, <clears throat> and uh, I've kind of really come to grips with how it varies compared to different factors. Um, so we're going to start off. I've got a few here. Uh, I'm using the Ernie Ball Everlast picks because they're awesome. <clears throat> so starting off, this is the, the gauge that I've used pretty much all the time. <clears throat> Even before the Everlast, it was always pretty much the same. And this is a 1.14 millimeter. Um, now I found with these, what I liked about them is their... It's nice and sturdy, it's solid, it's not too loose, it's got a bit of give to it, uh, and I found particularly in tunings such as standard tune and E-flat, uh, for me it just works, you get a good attack, like I said it's not too stiff, it's not too solid, it's got a little bit of give to it, and I would use the, the 1.14, typically for, like I said, standard tuning or E-flat, maybe sometimes down to D standard as well. But yes, as you, I mean, you may be wondering, I'm talking about tunings. If it comes to tunings, different tunings, lower tunings, different string gauges, you're going to have to adapt your pick. So the 1.14 millimeter Everlast is what I use for my standard and E flat riffage. Uh, now, moving on to say something a little bit thicker, this is one that I use as well. This is. Uh, the 1.5 millimeter. Now this one, again, Everlast by Ernie Ball. <laughs> uh, this one, compared to the 1.14, it's a lot. You can tell it's got less give. There's pretty much not no give at all in it. It's not too thick, so it doesn't feel uncomfortable. But it's solid, and you can get some serious attack with this. And also what's good with all Everlast picks that I've found is they're really grippy. You ain't going to be losing it because it's got some good grip to it. So the 1.5 I would use for, typically say, I would probably use it for D standard, drop C, not drop C sharp, all those kind of things because they're solid uh, and it takes quite a hammering. Thicker gauge strings as well. So you need uh, you need something a little thicker to really dig into those thicker gauge strings and you'll notice if you the low the lower tuning you go with a thicker gauge string you you'll notice that you'll need a thicker guitar pick i mean you could you could still use the 1.14 for tuning such as that but i definitely think going a little bit thicker with it will benefit so that's the 1.5 so yeah if you're in drop d standard c sharp c that kind of vibe a 1.5 is going to serve you well because it's just solid and it's going to hammer into those strings perfectly. And now we're going to go on to something a little bit thicker. That thing I've only ever used like once or twice. Uh, this is the 2 mil. I know there's some of you out there that like your 2 mil picks uh, noticeably visually and when you feel it in your fingers. This is a lot thicker. This is... It's a beast. It's not as thick as I've seen some some picks out there are a lot thicker. Um, but I mean, the only times I've used the two mil is if I've gone to say drop B or B standard 
all the time that I played that seven string for those corn covers. I use a thicker pick just to really dig into those real, really thick, thick guitar strings. Um, but I wouldn't use a two mil for anything else. Uh, I think it's a bit too heavy for like, you know, 10 to 46 gauge strings, 11 to 48. I mean, it's 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 clunky. It's clunky, but works for those lower tunings. Like I said, down to B standard, drop B, down to your A, and that's the two mil, and it is just a beast. So I kind of reserve those if I ever go that low, because the strings we know get thicker the lower we go. So uh, definitely need. I mean, even if you use something like this for for like an E flat. Like, it'll work. Um, it depends on yourself. For me, I just find it a bit clunky for those tunings and those gauge strings, you know, 10 to 46, 11 to 48. Um, but these you definitely want to be using for those those beefy tunings because they're just, they're just solid. And I'll just attack those strings like a motherfucker. So your 1.14, you're going to be one to use in with your, your 10 to 46, 11 to 48s for your kind of E standard, E flat kind of vibe give that a go uh, the 1.5 you know when you go a bit lower to drop d uh d not drop d d standard uh drop c sharp and all that cool stuff and then down to the two mil for your for your drop b b standard and your a and however fucking low you want to go but now we're going to go to the complete opposite side of the spectrum which we have to go there right because some people do um so i've got here um a leaf <laughs> so this is the the 0 0.60 millimeter and it's pink uh the 0.60 it is extremely flimsy okay um compared to those other picks that are solid with no give in it the 0.60 it's got some serious give like this thing bends and you may be wondering well what do i use that for if it's so flimsy What's the point? Now, you're probably not going to use a 0 0.60 if, you know, you big, heavy, thrashy guy with all your down pickings, your galloping, your big-ass power cords, your chunker, chunker, chunker. Just because it's so flimsy, every time you dig into the string, you're not going to get the attack because the pick is just it's having that give to it. So the only time you're going to really use something as light as this is if you're a slightly lighter guitar player. You know, for some of you, for your bends and your lead stuff. If you've got a nice gentle touch, it feels good. It's light, nothing too clunky, so you're not going to get all muddled up when you're shredding away. Um, even still, for me, I'd, I'd never use a pick this, this thin. But, I mean, people do. Give it a go, see how you feel. But, as I said, for the hard, heavy chugga-chugga stuff, this will be no good to you. But, alongside with this 0.6, I've got a, a 0.73. Now, 0.73 is still quite flimsy, but it's, it's got it's a little bit more solid. So you, you'd probably, again, not go for it for your, for your chunky, chunky, chunk. You know, more of your bluesy, rock and rolly type stuff. And your strumming stuff. Now, I recently discovered um because i play a lot of acoustic stuff as well as you know uh, a guitar pick like this the 0.73 did i say set three or five this is a 0.73 um it's great for strummy stuff i found you know doing your chords guitar's out of tune but who cares huh but it's because it's light, it's not too thick, it's got a little bit of give, I find, especially on an acoustic, um, you get a real nice, light, strummy feel, and it, it doesn't feel too clunky. I used to use the, the 1.14s for acoustic, same as I do with my electric. But I found that compared to this, it's just, it feels more clunky. And when you're playing something like acoustic and all your strummy stuff and your you know your your gentle stuff something clunky it's it's going to show through in in what you're playing and it will just be clunky that's it but the 0.73 it's really good for the strumming stuff i always use it for my acoustics 
And uh, yeah, same with a 0.60. You could use that as well for your acoustic and your strummy stuff. I mean, you don't, when it comes to acoustic for me, it is a lot of kind of, you know, gentle, nice cordage. Uh, and a light pick like this, the 0.73 just works and compensates for that style of playing. But I wouldn't, like I said, use this or the 0.60 for anything chunky and heavy. I mean, you couldn't use the 0.60 if you're in like drop B, because imagine that. You just have no attack and it's really papery and you don't get the <laughs> chugga chugga. Um, but yeah, great for your, for your lighter side of playing, you know, if you're a light kind of bluesy, jazzy player. Or again, for your acoustic stuff, you're going to want the 0 0.6 and the 0 0.73 mil. So guys, there you go. I mean, just to recap, uh, the 1.4, your E standard, E flat, drop D. Your 1.5, you know, your D standard, your drop C, drop C sharp. Your 2 mil, down for your B standards, your drop Bs and your As. And then if you're an acoustic player or a slightly lighter player, the 0.73 and the 0 0.60, just because you've got that more control. You don't need anything too heavy if you're just playing soft and beautiful. Um, something nice and light will compensate that. Now, I know there's loads of different types of picks out there. There's even like different shapes, like the Ernie Ball, uh, the, the, the Prodigy picks. You know, they're really pointy, uh, which are great. I've used them before. They're great for lead stuff because they've got that point, they've got that attack. Me personally, they're not for me, for my rhythm. Um, I, I've got to use the, the Everlast. If you haven't tried out the Everlast by Ernie Ball, check them out. They've got a huge range of uh, thicknesses. So check them out. And uh, so yeah, if you've ever been, you know, confused about what pick you should be using for your playing, try out a bunch of them. You know, the lower tuning you go with the bigger gauge strings, try something a little thicker to keep that attack. If you're just doing your acoustic stuff, try something a little bit lighter. Just uh, get that beautiful shimmery strumminess going and make it less clunky. So guys, let me know down below what uh, gauge pick you are using right now um, and what you use if you go lower in tuning or if you keep it the same. Now, like I said, this is just my preference. This is what, what I do. So it's just to give a general idea of things. But yeah, comment below and let me know. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe if you're new. Uh, as always, rock out, be awesome, and I will see you in the next video. See ya!